Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Today I want to talk about a couple of things. I want to talk about purchasing and marketing to your own race and women in STEM. So let's first talk about women in STEM. So YouTube is trying to push uh, women to go into the STEM field and women going into gaming and women doing this and that and the other that are all man dominated. Man dominated does not mean that men are pushing anybody out. Uh, men are doing anything of the sort or have any practices that are anti anything. Why? Because it's against the law. The fact of the matter is that in a lot of STEM fields, women are hired more than men. Anytime there's a woman candidate, women are hired more than men and are paid more than men. This has got to stop. This is not equality. This is now something that is completely different. Now the YouTube CEO is a woman. How did that happen? I'm assuming she got hired because she's good at her job and she applied for it. Or, or she, they let it be known that she wanted the job. Now there are other women who have been on Twitter saying you can't push women to go into the STEM field because women have their own choice and they make different choices. It's not a question of pushing, it's not a question of, of uh, trying to overcome men because men are not the obstacle. The obstacle is the actual choices that women make. They're not in the STEM field because they don't want to be in the STEM field. They're not into gaming because they're not into gaming. They. Uh, don't want to be and when we're talking about gaming we're not talking about farmville we're talking about competitive gaming they're actually speaking out against uh, women not being in the esports women not being in uh, fortnite now for all of you people who are going to say oh but i've seen i've seen uh, now everybody comes and uh starts all their cars just to be starting their cars they've been quiet for all this time now they're all coming to start their cars uh, for all of you all seen, I've seen a woman, I've seen a woman in esports, I've seen a woman play Fortnite. That is not the norm. That is that single particular person. And what, what actually happened? What is her story? Her story is she was interested in Fortnite and she wanted to do it. A lot of women are not quite that interested in video games or not quite that interested in role playing or, or competitive sports, but they get into it because of their boyfriends. So they're the boyfriend's chick. They're, they're at the club because their boyfriend is the DJ. Uh, they're at the Super Bowl because their boyfriend's into sports and they want to spend time with them. Uh, and, for, and for you to say, oh, well, the boyfriend should spend time, the boyfriend should not spend time with her uh, because he should stop being a Eagles fan or a Dallas fan. The boy should, should spend time when he wants to spend time with her. And if he doesn't want to spend time with her, that's his decision. And she has a decision to make there also. Should she be with that man? And if not, don't force yourself on a man. And don't say, I don't want you playing this, the video games. I don't want you watching uh, football every Sunday. That's not a good relationship. You either take the person for who he is, or you don't take him at all. There's this constant need for women to change things. And that's not the way. That's not equality. That's not egalitarianism. They're doing something different. They're trying to change people. And change is not a good thing. When you're talking about changing people into your way of thinking, your way of thinking is no more noble than my way of thinking. And I'm pretty noble. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, buying along racial lines. Uh, there's this constant push for black people uh, to, for the word to get out, buy black, buy black, buy black. Well, here's the problem, and now, now that I just talked about stop pushing people to think your way, here's the problem. Black people uh, don't buy black, not because uh, they have made a decision not to buy black, it's been forced upon it and hoisted upon black people to think that black goods and services are not as good as everybody else. 
Filipino, Indonesian, Chinese, Japanese, white. <laughs> white covers everybody, right? Uh, here's something funny. I just saw a YouTuber buy a quarter of a million dollar car, not just from a white person, but from somebody from his ancestral home. He has absolutely no ties to his actual ancestral home. He was born here in the United States. He's fully American, but he did not go to a Scottish person. He didn't go to an Irish person, not a French American, uh, not a Spanish American. He specifically went to a uh, Czech American. Uh, we'll, we'll say, I don't know, he looks Czech, so I'm assuming that, that the person was Czech. L literally, the person came out and says, oh, I'm so glad uh, you came and bought from me, brother. So that's a quarter of a million dollars. So the person gets a commission, the company gets uh, however much they get out of their take home, and that's how you do it. Uh, black people need to understand that the best deals, the best everything is gonna come from a black person. Any other group is going to try their very best to make the biggest possible profit from an outsider. Why? Because that's normal. That's human nature. Uh, our group, we wanna help our group, and not that you wanna hurt the other groups, but you want the other groups to pay for the privilege of buying from you. Uh, so black people need to buy black simply not because and uh, when I say buy black uh, black owned businesses black owned sources of distribution there there we cover everything everybody keeps saying that black people don't own nothing and they don't distribute anything they don't manufacture and that's all a lie black people manufacture everything they distribute everything and they have retail stores the problem is all of their customers are outside of their group and they can't even capture their own group whereas all other groups have already captured their own group and their own group uh, is readily captured because they want to support their own group black people don't want to support their own group so the biggest McDonald's person is a black uh, owned company a consortium they all sell to white people or Indonesians or Chinese so they're the richest and uh, most powerful McDonald's franchisee uh, in the United States worldwide actually they own thousands and thousands of McDonald's and black people don't buy from them so they don't have a captured group whereas the Chinese have a captured group the Japanese have a captured group the Italians have a captured group <laughs> what are you doing are you trying to be in the video <laughs> so it's it's crazy that all of these w the the point is that when you're starting business you got to start from a point where you you have your base like all of these and here's the complaint about all of these superhero movies all of these superhero movies come from men who collected the comic books but hollywood is trying to push women 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 so then they change the story around they change the actors they do different uh stuff on casting so a, a black a person who would be black is now white a person who would be indonesian is now white why because the majority of the women that they're trying to push to go get to go see uh, is some white guy or white girl so the base that you started with they're taken for granted so all of the men who and i was one of them collected the comic books and i've stopped collecting comic books because now the comic books are going uh, uh full uh, sjw which we do not want we don't want we want a good story a good solid story and the story was about a boy who was bit by a radioactive spider and he became spider-man that's what it's about. It's not about some woman. If I wanted to collect a comic book about a woman, I'd go collect a comic book about a woman. Why do they fail so hard? Because boys don't want to uh, associate with a woman. The story is supposed to be personalized. Now, even though the guy's white, I can personalize some white boy in high school being in love with the 
most popular girl in high school and then he gets superpowers and then he goes and does good yeah because i'm a good guy i like to think of myself as a good guy and then i <laughs> then i go and uh do my good guy stuff well they are trying to push this narrative which takes it away first of all it takes it away from the writing so the, the writing actually suffers and so now we have female thors female spider man and i believe there was already a, an arc about a spider woman there was already a, 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 a bat woman they already did that they can't build on that they have to completely erase the male batman the male spider-man the male they have to completely erase them because even in their mind the man can't exist where the woman existed now i'm saying to youtube and this is a message to youtube i have made video after video after video talking about stem 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 science technology engineering mathematics stem 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 these are the best the best the best uh, top 10 t top 10 majors in college that you could get most profitable majors that you can take uh, now i said that for black people i could do the same thing for uh for women if you want me to do that i'll, I'll make it the message is the same i'm not anti anything i'm pro american i'm pro logic not the company <laughs> I'm pro getting the small man to be able to see the big picture of how the small man, how the main street guy can get ahead. Now, if YouTube wants to promote my stuff and stop penalizing me for saying how to, how to get a bank account, how, how do you demonetize, how do you demonetize a video talking about how to get a bank account? Hold on not just demonetize it but even on the appeal of the demonetization it's manually reviewed and say yes this is demonetized how to start a bank account how's that demon where in that is uh, even remotely offensive anyway guys thank you all for watching youtube if you want me to make female stem uh, videos i can make female stem video till i'm blue in the face as long as you promote me i'll make whatever please support the channel patreon.com slash shikama and for those people who don't understand how the world works funding is everything coca-cola asks investors for money so don't come into my channel and say stop it stop begging for money this is called funding this is a business uh, go get a job at McDonald's. This is a business. You don't understand business. I understand business. Stay at your own McDonald's. <laughs> stay, at your, stay at your own McDonald's. Oh. My eyes and my teeth look yellow, but that's not the... Oh, it's because of the... Anyway. Uh, my teeth and eyes are not yellow. I changed, I changed the uh, colors on the camera, and this was the result. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. Uh, anyway, like the video. Share it if you like. Uh, share it to all your female groups. Women, I want you to go into STEM. Especially if you're poor. If you're poor and you're a woman, go into STEM. There. there. I can't put it more plainly than that. And women, support your husband. Support your, your boyfriend. And when I say support, I don't mean give him money. Although, if it requires that, do it. I mean, support his decisions, the, the support that he's the head, because he is the head. Who do you have to battle? You have to battle other men. And I'm sorry, uh, most men are not going to go, oh, you're a woman, let me step out of the way. No, they're not. Life is competitive. Men compete way more than women. Women compete against women. This is why I... I <laughs> I keep saying around here, I want to get married, I want to get a wife, so my wife can tell these children, nobody's going to say anything to a woman, my wife can tell these children to get away, to stop cursing me out, we have children here cursing me out, which I, I'm just, you know, and if, I, and if I said anything to anybody's kid, they wanted to jump me or kill me or whatever they want to do, I need a wife, a big fat black wife, to go over get right in their face and say shut up 
that is not your place. That's an adult. You're a kid. And for their parents to shut up to. You're trash. <laughs> Get out of our face. Am I doing the black woman? <laughs> I don't know how to. Uh, I remind myself as a rod man. <laughs> I love that guy. Anyway, like the video. Thank you all for watching.